Hello, welcome back. I want to do a really quick video for last minute turkey collars for that if uh, you ain't got time to order any or whatnot. Walmart usually has little three packs and whatnot, but uh, this is the uh, the three pack in house. Uh, it's got the uh, the Dabra, the Lucy, and the, uh, the Hook Hunter series. I think it's actually called the Ridge Beater. You can get them separate in different three packs, I think, if you go on their website primos or just google it and usually bring it up but uh, i'm gonna run these really quick if you like them and your closest walmart has them then you'll know if you want to get them or not but uh i'll start out with the uh the hook hunter series i think it's called the ridge beater i'm pretty sure these are straight out of the pack too they, they taste horrible i might have to trim them Sounds more like a, a gobbler to me, but I think that's actually why they call it a, a ridge beater because normally a, a lone gobbler will be on top of a ridge. That way their distance when they uh, yelp and that, or gobble carries out, you know, track tins and whatnot. But uh, this is the Lucy. This has the, uh, I think it was, yeah, the back cut. That one there. I think you can buy these by yourself too. If... Like I say, if you love Walmart, have them. Really easy to use, you don't require a lot of tongue pressure on that one. Uh, let's see, the other one is uh, the Dabra, which is a Barracuda cut. I think I might have showed that in one of my previous ones, but do it again. That last little thing I've done is them really quiet sounds you don't really hear unless they're on top of you. It's kind of like uh, they're content feed uh, sounds when they're pecking and feeding. But I'm kind of going like whipped. But I, I have to kind of smile when I do it to get it out. I'm going to do it really quiet, quiet as you can. Uh, that that works really good I'm telling you it's a say it, it's a content call kind of like when they're just hanging around and feeding uh, I hope this video kind of helped you out if you got any last minute hustle want to get any new calls and uh, another tip too if you got any calls from last year and they don't sound right Wait them. Get a toothpick, of some sort, and uh, go between the uh, top and bottom reeds. See if I have one in this bag. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, real quick. Here's one. Uh, always keep my reeds in the refrigerator and separated. But I just took a plastic old toothpick and just wedged between the top two reeds. You'll probably have to wet it to get it soft enough to loosen back out because where it's uh, dried it's 
kind of stuck in there, but just a little bit of water to work down in there, it'll just slide right out. But you don't want to force it out, you'll rip your reeds. But I'd say if uh, they're stuck together from last year, if they haven't been separated, you'll definitely want to get them separated and wet it up, and they'll sound totally different. If they're a triple reed, I don't even worry about the two lower reeds, just as long as you separate the main reed from the one beside of it, it should be good. But hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.